Right, welcome back everyone. We're carrying on. That's a little weird. Let's ignore it. Right, yesterday. Oh, damn it, I've given it away. Oh well. We finished with this most of a piecade cabinet. Now we're going to put some bits in it and start making it working. We'll start with the speaker. So it mounts on the other side of the, the speaker hole here with the speaker firing downwards. Two M3 screws. Let's see if I can flip this over without everything disappearing. I'm not entirely sure how well you're going to be able to see this. Okay, so don't have the wires pointing towards that button or they will foul on the button. Live and learn. So let's point them up towards the pie because they're going to connect to the pie cane hat and that way we stand a better chance of, I don't know, coiling them up, cable tying them if you like that kind of thing. If you're not that fussed you can just leave them flapping about loose. It's not going to make a lot of difference to how well it works. on realize you can't see much of this from anywhere but I'm just putting a nut on a bolt exactly the same as I did with the last one and then tighten it up doesn't need to be crazy tight but tight enough so the speaker doesn't rattle will mean you get better sound and less annoying buzzing noises. Lovely. So, speaker in. Where are we next? Now, oh, we're going to mount the pie. This can be tricky. We need more of the M2.5 bolts and the spacers, so we can shuffle those and make a new fresh pile. Maybe you can have another little plastic container handy, you'll probably be glad you did, like I'm going to regret not doing, but let's just go with it. Now, if we can get it so that the pie is nice and flat on a surface that is hopefully flatter than this table, it will mean you can have the bolts poking through and then pop the spacers and then the pie straight on top. It's going to be fiddly. Mm, probably best that you have some masking tape or something handy to take them in place. In fact, I might just go and get some. Ah, never mind. Blue tack. The wonder stuff. Four of the little M2.5 plastic bolts. Some blobs of blue tap underneath. I didn't do this last time I built one. I wish I thought of it. And there we go. Four bolts through. Should be nice and easy to pop the little white spacers onto. And then crack open your pie. Now the SD card slot goes over this little hole here. If you just pop this onto the bolts, there we go. And if you look, you've got perfect access to, to put your SD card in and get your nail in, take it out. A big improvement, I reckon. I love that little feature. Video magic happens. Okay, so you've done the two either side of the GPIO. That's great, they're on now. These are the two, we're not using the plastic nuts, we've got the two little metal standoffs 
Those are going to support the other side of the Picade hat, which is in here, and you will see shortly. So don't use the plastic nuts on those. It's these little metal standoffs, which are much easier to screw on than the little plastic nuts are, which is nice. So we've still got our blue tech on holding them in place. Once the threads have caught, you can put it back on its side again, blue tech off, hold the stand off, and tighten it. Again, don't tighten it too much, you don't want to chew the threads on the screw. And there it is, all done with your SD card slot nicely. And the standoffs on the pie, everything holding nice and securely. Grand. <laughs> okay, at this point, as per the instructions, it is well worth plugging your HDMI cable into the pie because once all the wires are in, it's going to be much, much harder to get at that, especially when the hat is sitting over the top and the hat has an awful lot of. Uh, of pins for connecting the headers on the joystick and button cables with all that in the way it's going to be a nightmare to get the HDMI in so plug that in now you can leave the other end dangling we'll do the screen end a bit later but there we go HDMI cable in place right Okay, the hat. Ooh, I can... There we go, find the gap. Ooh. Into the bin. Move these little screws into a little separate pile slightly out of the way. And there it is, the Picade hat. So this just goes down onto the GPIO. Make sure it's lined up straight. You can, it's easy to get it offside and miss a couple of the pins, which will mean it doesn't work. Try not to do that. Gently push it down. And then that's what we're using these two screws for. Bolts, screws, whatever into the standoffs, back to the Phillips head, and done, Picade hat attached. Lovely. Right, 